have studied what is uh, yeah in, in in which we have just studied what is the strategic cost management and how it is different than cost accounting uh in the last lecture we had also studied about the what are the uh, what is mean by cost management how it is different than cost accounting that we had studied how it is different than management accounting in the last lecture also we had discussed about cost accounting and management accounting and financial accounting so financial account accounting is the accounting of financial data in which what we we are doing we are just recording the facts and information of entire organization but cost accounting is related to specific project or specific product if in one organization we are manufacturing two products at that time we should have a different cost accounting for different products for example in mere company me for example i am pre i am preparing two varieties of soap to har ek soap ke liye mera accounting system alag hona chahiye cost accounting alag hona chahiye but financial accounting me kya ho jayega i should add the cost of both the soaps in one financial statement but in case of cost accounting i should have separate cost sheet for soap 1 and soap 2 getting this so cost accounting is product wise cost accounting is process wise cost accounting is service wise or cost accounting is project wise it is not combination of two more products in one statement that is something about cost accounting so here once we have done the cost accounting then what we have to do we have to do the cost management we have to do the cost management means what we should have to make the plan about the controlling of the cost of the organization it may be product wise it may be process wise so that we had seen in the last lecture then we had also seen about the cost elements so there are three major elements of cost that is first is the one is the material second is the labor third is the expenses then material is classified into direct material indirect material labor is also classified into direct labor indirect labor and expenses are also in direct and indirect expenses then all direct comes together it goes to fixed cost and all indirect comes together and it creates the overheads so addition of fixed cost plus overhead it is equal to your total cost of product so whenever we wanted to control the cost whenever we wanted to manage the cost whenever we wanted to reduce the cost at that time as a cost accountant we should know what are the elements of cost where we should process where we should keep watch getting this so this is about the elements of cost basic primary elements and secondary elements now uh, we have discussed about the overheads so overheads means what it is about indirect expenses indirect expenses means what these are the expenses which are not taking direct part into manufacturing or the production of the or products so overheads are also classified into nature wise variability wise control wise function wise and normality wise under nature wise overheads are classified into indirect material and indirect labor and indirect expenses if we see the variability that time these overheads are classified into fixed overheads variable overheads and semi variable overheads that we had seen in the last lecture then controllable overheads uncontrollable overheads controllable means what we can control uncontrollable means such expenses we can't control then function wise or activity wise that is the production expenses administrative expenses selling expenses and distribution expenses so we will classify these expenses process wise or function wise then last one was the normality that is normal overheads and abnormal overheads okay normal means what this is the regular overheads abnormal means what certain incidences happen and that's why these overheads will come so this is the classification of overhead and overheads are also part of our cost uh, we have already studied classification on direct material direct material consists of consumables indirect material consists of consumable stores fuel small tools lubrication oil cotton waste so this comes under indirect material 
indirect labor is the wages of maintenance workers salary of four month these are the indirect overheads and uh, indirect expenses like rent insurance taxes canteen expenses welfare expenses training hospital and dispensary expenses these are the part of indirect expenses the direct cost means what it is the variable cost why it is called as a variable cost because it varies with your production if you increase the production activity automatically your direct cost will increase if you decrease it at that time it can also decrease jo increase decrease se jo production increase decrease se jo expenses increase decrease hote hain they have a direct relationship with your production activity so usi expenses ko bolte hain direct expenses in which direct material is there direct labor is there and direct expenses is there aur ye tino का कॉम्बिनेशन करके हम लोग बोलते हैं डायरेक्ट कॉस्ट दैट इज प्राइम कॉस्ट इनडायरेक्ट कॉस्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट मटेरियल इनडायरेक्ट लेबर एंड इनडायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस और इसको बोलते हैं हम लोग ओवरहेड्स तो ओवरहेड्स आल्सो क्लासिफाइड इनटू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ओवरहेड्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ओवरहेड्स एंड सेलिंग ओवरहेड्स मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ओवरहेड्स यानी जो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैक्ट्री एक्सपेंसेस में जो ओवरहेड्स होते हैं इनडायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस होते हैं फैक्ट्री के ओनली द एक्सपेंसेस ऑफ फैक्ट्री दैट इज पावर fuel depreciation rent and rates factory insurance salaries of inspector supervisors yep overheads say oh, why these are called as overheads because these are indirect expenses okay then administrative expenses means what these are the salary of staff office rent office electricity postage telegram depreciation Why we are going to study? Because we have to control this. हम लोगों को strategic cost management में क्या सीखना है कि how to control, how to manage these expenses. But we should know first of all which expenses comes. तो overhead में कौन से expenses आते हैं? जहाँ पे मुझे controlling के chances होते हैं. जिस जहाँ पे मुझे management के chances होते हैं. So these are the administrative overheads. so these are the general kind of overheads it these are separate from your factory overheads where i should have to keep control keep watch then you as an organization you may have selling and distribution overheads as well in selling and distribution overheads salaries of sales people expenses on advertisement expenses on publicity rent of warehouse expenses of delivery vans or motor vehicles the trucks and carriage outwards all these are the selling and distribution overheads where we should have to keep control through strategic cost management okay so these are the classification of overheads and look at this cost sheet format in management accounting subject you must have studied the cost sheet just go through this slide then we will discuss how cost sheet is formed how we are going to find out the total cost of production and by looking towards this cost sheet we can find the opposed opportunities to control the cost and to manage the cost and to reduce the cost so see uh, towards this cost sheet format then so what i am saying you this is the structure of cost sheet and it is prepared product wise if we talk about cost sheet means what this cost sheet is for certain product or certain services if we are manufacturing two three products at that time we have to pre prepare two three separate cost sheet for each product suppose we are producing two soaps at that time i have to prepare 
cross sheet for soap one separate and cross sheet for soap two separate. Okay, so this is how the structure of cross sheet is there. So if this cost sheet contains name of product, this cost sheet is produced for Scorpio company, Scorpio product. This cost sheet is produced for certain tablets. This cost sheet is prepared for certain period of time. This cost sheet is for financial year 2020-21 to 2020. Then this cost sheet is prepared for level of activity. How many products sorry, you are prepared to? Sorry to interrupt you. Yes. Sir, your screen is showing previous slide. Uh, this cost sheet is not visible, sir. Sir, your screen is showing previous slide. Slide one. number 30. One. One. Can you see this slide? No, sir. You can't see this slide? The slide is visible, sir, but it is showing to your slide, sir. Abhi ye, abhi kya hai slide pe? A prerequisite sites of an efficient cost control system. Sorry, sorry, one minute. Ye nahi hai aapko? One minute. Hai. Ek bar join karta hai isko. Now, can you see this slide? Yes? Yes, sir. Kya dikta hai abhi slide pe? Uh, cost management is the form of management accounting that okay. follows the business. Okay. Take a minute. Huh? अभी दिख रहा है क्या? अभी दिखता है क्या? नो सर वही वही स्लाइड दिख रही है सर आप कौन सी साइड स्लाइड दिखती है आपको? कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट इस फॉर्म ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग डेट अलाउ द बिजनेस टू प्रोडक्ट कमिंग एंड फिनिशर्स तो मुझे लगता है ये फाइव प्रेस करने के बाद कुछ तो होता है ये सर अभी दिख रहा है सर � Okay, yes, so ये अब भी दिखता है क्या आपको सर डिटेल्स में उसको ये फाइव करने के बाद स्क्रीन बड़ा करने के बाद वो जाता है ऑटोमेटिक ही पता नहीं क्या हो रहा है ठीक है देखो अभी क्या है पहले वाले स्लाइड सब आपको दिख दिखे थे ना सर वो स्लाइड सब थर्टी नंबर के पेज पर स्टिक हो गया था स्टक हो गया था सर वो क्या हुआ मतलब वो थर्टी नंबर के पेज पर स्टक हुआ था मतलब स्लाइड उसके बाद आगे का अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है हाँ सी टुवर्ड्स दी फॉर्मेट ऑफ दिस कॉस्ट सो हियर व्हेनेवर वी प्रिपेयर दिस कॉस्ट पहले ये समझ लो कि ये हम लोग कॉस्ट क्यों स्टडी करनी है क्योंकि अगर मुझे कोई भी कॉस्ट कंट्रोल करनी है कोई भी कॉस्ट मैनेज करनी है किसी भी कॉस्ट में रिडक्शन करना है तो एट फर्स्ट आई शुड हैव कॉस्ट क्योंकि कॉस्ट शीट में सारे डिटेल्स है मैंने कहा पे कितना खर्चा किया है ना वो कहाँ पे मेंशन होता है कॉस्ट शीट में मेंशन होता है कॉस्ट शीट इज द एंटायर एक्सपेंसेस शीट ऑफ यूर प्रोडक्ट ठीक है तो इफ आई वांटेड टू कंट्रोल सर्टेन हेडिंग ऑफ कॉस्ट सर्टेन टाइप टाइप्स ऑफ कॉस्ट दैट टाइम आई शुड नो वेर आई हैव डन एक्सपेंसिस कहा पे मैंने कॉस्ट के एक्सपेंसिस किए हैं और कहा पे स्कोप है so to manage the cost to control the cost to reduce the cost first i should have to understand the cost sheet getting this to so, cost sheet mein kya hota hai just see here pehle name of company cost sheet of product agar mere do product alag alag hai to har ek product ke liye alag alag mera cost sheet rahega then again i should have to mention this cost sheet is for the period of so and so and this cost sheet is prepared for level of activity or output of 100 units, 200 units, 300 units. Now look towards this. In the structure of this cost sheet, first I should write the direct material cost. Direct material cost means what? This is the cost of raw material. I should add there. Cost of raw material for 100 units. Cost of direct labor for 100 units because my level of activity is 100 units I'm going to produce. 
then cost of direct expenses that for 100 units i will write there so addition of direct material direct labor and direct expenses it goes to the prime cost okay that is abc then in <coughs> prime cost we add the factory expenses factory expenses or factory overheads overheads means what indirect expenses sare jo direct the na ek sath hum logo ne liye abhi chalu hote hai sare indirect so indirect expenses of factory we should add there pehle hum log kya karenge factory ke indirect expenses add karenge kisme prime cost wo factory ke indirect expenses add karne ke baad meri banti hai prime factory cost in that factory cost, what we do, we add the opening work in process and we deduct the closing work in process. WIP, I'm look at that. Then we will get the factory cost of finished goods. Then in that factory cost of finished goods, we add the administrative overheads, means what general overheads. Okay, by adding general overheads, we calculate the cost of production. This is the cost of production in which we add the opening stock of finished goods. And we did it the closing stock of finished goods. And by adding this opening stock of finished goods and deducting closing stock of finished goods, we go to the cost of goods sold. In which we add the selling and distribution overheads there. And it goes to the cost of sales. In which we add our profit and it becomes your sale value. This is the way by which we prepare the cost sheet. Have any doubt with respect to this understanding of the cost sheet? Yes. Cost sheet no, is the, yes, cost sheet is the statement in which we inculcate direct and indirect expenses. All kind of expenses we are making on certain product, we should have to write something. Why we need to write? Because this is the process of cost account. In cost accounting, we record all monetary expenses in the certain sheets that is some, nothing but your cost sheet. So once we have recorded this data in the cost sheet, in the cost accounting, then strategic cost management rule starts. Strategic cost management rule for me, I have cost accounting. Cost accounting is clear cut. Clear cut, ascertainment of the cost, recording of cost, and analysis of cost. Recording, analysis, ascertainment, yani finding. Finding hone ke baad, recording cost ka hona chahiye, or cost ka recording hone ke baad, uska analysis hona chahiye. This cost goes into which tab? Whether this is factory cost, whether this is administrative cost, or whether this is selling and distribution cost, or whether this is direct cost, or whether this is indirect. So on the basis of clear cut analysis, I will prepare this question. Okay. Now, if you see <coughs> the cost sheets at that time, items not included in the cost sheets. So whenever we prepare the cost sheets at that time, these kind of expenses we should not add in the cost sheet because it relate it is related to your finance activities. That is interest on bank loan. Debentures, discounts, deb uh, discount on debentures, cash discount. <laughs> capital losses, penalties, fine damages. Yes, are your expenses in a, that we should not add in the cost sheet because these are, these are not product wise. Ye product wise, nahi hote. getting this. Ye process wise, nahi hote. getting this. That's why we should not add these kind of things in the cost sheet. As well as debit ke dekhi, credit interest received, dividend interest received on investment, dividend, rental income, transfer of shares, brokerage commission. See, these are also not product wise. So specifically, product ki upar agar kuch kharcha rahega, product ki upar kuch income rahega, wohi hum log cost sheet mein add karte. So ye general kind of expenses hum log add nahi karte. So this was something about our cost sheet or this was something about our cost accounting. The preparation of cost sheet is the part of cost accounting. Now, where cost accounting stop, our strategic cost management starts. Okay. 
अभी कॉस्ट स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट में हमको क्या करना है इट इज द कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक हियर व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू कांट रिड्यूस एवरी टाइम यू कांट रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट सम ऑफ द टाइम्स यू हैव टू मैनेज द कॉस्ट गेटिंग दिस सो स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट इन स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट वी हैव टू प्ले सर्टेन पॉलिसीज वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर सर्टेन पॉलिसीज ड्यू टू दिस आई कैन कीप कंट्रोल ऑन द कॉस्ट I can keep control on the cost. I can manage the cost. So strategic cost management is the cost management technique that aims to reduce the cost and boost the strategic position of the organization. Here, what I am going to do through this strategic cost management, I am going to find out which are the unnecessary activities. Is there any scope to skip the activities? अगर पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी पर्टिकुलर स्टॉप प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटीज में से पर्टिकुलर स्टेप अगर मिस किया तो मेरा क्या होता है फाइनल प्रोडक्शन में क्या चेंज होता है कैन वी हैव सर्टन स्कोप टू रिड्यूस द एक्सपेंसेस एंड इफ वी हैव द स्कोप देन वी शुड डेफिनेटली गो फॉर तो स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट में हम लोग क्या करेंगे फर्स्ट वी विल रिकॉर्ड ऑल दी कॉस्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल एनालाइज दिस कॉस्ट एनालिसिस यानी क्या करने वाला Whether this step is really required or not. अगर वो स्टेप मैंने नहीं किया तो क्या हो सकता है अगर किया तो क्या वैल्यू एडिशन होगा अगर नहीं किया तो क्या वैल्यू एडिशन होगा गेटिंग दिस सो स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट में हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंडिंग द कॉस्ट रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स कॉस्ट रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स ड्यू टू विच ओवरऑल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन विल रिड्यूस विल रिड्यूस तो ओवरऑल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन रिड्यूस करने के लिए जो कुछ मुझे करना पड़ेगा दैट आई विल डू दैट एंड बाय डूइंग दिस व्हाट विल हैपन ऑटोमेटिकली ड्यू टू द रिडक्शन इन द प्राइस ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन डेफिनेटली प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑल सॉरी प्रॉफिट ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड इंक्रीज एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड क्रिएट द पोजीशन बेस्ट पोजीशन इन द मार्केट तो स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट में मुझे क्या करना है फर्स्ट आई हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द कॉस्ट I have to record the cost and I have to control the cost. I have to analyze the cost by making the identification, recording, and classification of the cost. Then I have to use the cost reduction techniques. Cost reduction techniques means what? Reduction cost in the purchase of raw material. Raw material purchase करते समय जो ordering cost होती है अगर बल्क में प्रोड्यूस किया बल्क में ऑर्डर दिया तो कॉस्ट कितनी है इंडिविजुअल ऑर्डरिंग दिया तो कितनी है एक महीने का ऑर्डर दिया तो मुझे कितना डिस्काउंट मिलता है एक साल का ऑर्डरिंग दिया तो कितना होता है वीकली ऑर्डर दिया तो कितना खर्चा होता है गेटिंग दिस सो आई एम गोइंग टू एनालिस दिस कॉस्ट एंड अकॉर्डिंगली आई विल डिसाइड द पॉलिसी वेदर टू प्लेस द ऑर्डर मंथली क्वार्टरली ईयरली सिक्स मंथली और वीक सो वे आर बाई गिविंग द वेरियस ऑर्डर्स At different periods, I can get the scope to reduce the cost. अगर मेरा cost reduce होता है इसका मतलब automatically profit will increase. तो so, strategic cost management में मुझे क्या करना है What I have to do? I have to learn about the cost reduction techniques. I have to learn about the cost reduction techniques. I have to think about the wastages. I have to think about the reworks. I have to think about the unnecessary activities which are either which are available in the organization. I have to think about the idle time. I have to think about the overtime activities so that I can get scope to reduce the cost of the production. If there is the reduction in the cost of production, automatically profit of organization can increase. And strategic cost management think about this. Okay. so it is the process of combining cost information with the structure of decision making hum log kya kar rahe hain cost management technique mein strategic cost management mein hum log ko kya karna hai we have to decide the strategies we have to prepare the strategies we have to take the decisions with respect to these cost activities and by doing this in cost management technique or strategic cost management we will prepare we will prepare the overall business strategies we will prepare the overall business strategies related to employee hiring 
related to raw material purchasing <coughs> related to cost of production related to advertisement related to inspection related to sales promotion expenses here what i am do i am going to do i will prepare the policies i will prepare the strategies in cost management tech so cost is measured and managed to align with organization's business strategy organization ke strategy se meri cost align honi chahiye align yani equal honi chahiye on match honi chahiye for that purpose i have to study the strategic cost management try to understand the importance of strategic cost management so if you talk about the various stages of strategic cost management abhi cost management mein mujhe kya karna hai strategic cost management mein mujhe kya karna hai i have to formulate the strategies i have to formulate various strategies required for cost management technique or cost control technique so i have to prepare the strategies strategies are nothing but policies prepared by for certain product so jo policies particular product a ke liye banaye hain this may be not applicable to product b this may be not applicable to product c so here i have to formulate the strategies product wise i have to formulate the strategies product wise process wise getting this then whatever strategies whatever development plans you have prepared you should have to communicate these plans with your employees with your stakeholders with your suppliers with your bankers with your production system with your management getting this so first i need to design the design the policies and i need to communicate these strategies or policies with my organization and i will ask i will ask to the every stakeholders of the organization every employees of the organization to implement the strategies to implement these strategies okay so in stages of strategic cost management third strategy is the developing and implementing the tactics 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 means what procedures or the policies okay means what here you can give the scope to implement means what we should not go for giving the order month wise we should give the order quarterly basis where you can save orderly cost ordering cost transportation cost if you give the order in bulk then we should we can save our uh, you know transportation cost so certain such type of policies we should prepare and we should implement we we, we should start to implement these policies in third stage and last is the developing and implementation on the control so we should have control we should keep the control we should manage these policies and we should also check whether these are implementing smoothly or not so there are four stages in the strategic cost management so we first is with respect to cost accounting we should prepare the cost uh, we should prepare the strategies are the policies then whatever policies we have prepared we will communicate to the stakeholders or within the organization then we will implement the strategies by communicating then we will ask them to every departmental head we will ask them to implement and last one is that there should be the monitoring policies monitoring on the policies whether these are really implemented So just look first. First is the formulation of your strategies, communicating these strategies across entire organization. Then planning of tactics, tactics, any rules and regulations and strategies we will plan, and developing control on this. We should have control. These policies will be among uh, within our controls, and implementing these policies to track the success, to get the success to. grow the organization we have prepared the policies and if we formulate the policies if you communicate policies if you plan the policies if you control the policies regularly automatically there is the success of the organization there is the growth of organization there is the profit of the organization okay so strategic cost management is the vital part of the value chain it covers what it covers it covers your production activity design activity sales activity purchase activity and service after sales if we keep clear cut watch on this activity definitely we should reduce the cost we should control the cost we should 
manage the cost. And by keeping the watch on this activity, we will increase our profitability level. So these are the stages in strategic cost management. First stage is formulating the strategies. Second is the communicating strategies. Third is the planning the tactics, rules and regulations according to your strategies. And last thing is the keep record or keep track or keep control on your activities. Okay. Now, let us see the importance of strategic cost management nowadays. Nowadays, what happened? Now, we are moving towards a multinational organization. We are moving towards globalization. That's why strategic cost management plays very important. Those companies whose policies are very rigid, now they are out of the market. They say ki Nokia. They say ki, for example, Philips. Getting this. They say ki Onida. Getting this. So those companies who are having very rigid policies, those, are not, those companies which are not focusing on strategic cost management or management techniques, now they will not survive in this competitive world. That's why there is need of strategic cost management. So in strategic cost management, we are keeping very flexible approach. We should prepare Flexible, flexible policies for our organization, flexible policies of production, flexible policies for the customers, flexible policies okay. for the employees, flexible policies for your customers, uh, sorry, for your uh, uh, suppliers as well. Where there will be win-win situation. Mera bhi loss nahi, uska bhi loss nahi. Getting this. So I should create long-term relationship with my all stakeholders. Nobody should be dissatisfied with my organization. It may be employee, it may be customer, it may be your stakeholder, it may be your supplier, it may be your customer. Getting this? Nobody should be dissatisfied with my organization. Because if the person is dissatisfied with my organization, that time he will not work for my organization. Getting this? He will find the opportunities, other opportunities. Getting this? And jab usko alternative mil jayega, tabhi wo bhaag jayega. Aisa nahi hona chahi. That's why I need to manage this organization very strategically. I should prepare a flexible policies for all these stakeholders. So see here, what is the, that's why there is the importance of strategic cost management. So strategic cost management can be considered as updated cost analysis. Updated cost analysis means what? Every day you are going to identify, uh, you are going to ascertain the various costs coming into regular act, regular processes. Uska identification, uska, uska classification, or uska allocation. This will be a continuous activity nowadays. Getting this. So this is the part of strategic cost management. So every time or every day, we are going to do the updated cost analysis program that improves overall position of your organization. So through this strategic cost management, we are taking preventive actions. We will have scope to take the precautions so that we will not go in the loss. So updated cost and everything, every person working in the organization, he has to do the analysis. If this cost is increased by 10%, what are the reasons? What are the root cause analysis of this cost? If it is decreased, what is the reason? Getting this. So what are the root cause behind this cost? We have to study every time. Okay. And if you study this root cause analysis of various costs, that means it may be direct cost or indirect cost, we will find the exact position or exact problem. And accordingly, we will set the strategies. Accordingly, we will set the policies. <coughs> Strategic cost management is also useful to analyze the cost information and achieve sustainable competitive advantage. Sustainable cost to competitive advantage means what my organization's policies are different than my competitors. Getting this. So whenever you are dealing with your customers, whenever you are dealing with your uh, competitor, uh, competitors or customers or suppliers or your stakeholders, your policies will be unique. Okay. And due to having these competitive policies, you will generate more revenue. 
so strategic cost management will help you to prepare the competitive strategies or competitive policies it offers better understanding of organizations overall cost structure to gain the competitive advantage in the market okay so if your total overall cost of your sale is less that time you will sell product at less price in the market automatically customer will move towards you okay now rather than generating more revenue rather than generating more revenue through minimum sales what we will do we will sell in bulk and we will keep minimum profit there getting this so for example agar do unit bechne se अगर दो यूनिट में हंड्रेड रुपीज प्रॉफिट कमाने से हम लोग हंड्रेड यूनिट बेच के थोड़ा थोड़ा टेन रुपीज पर यूनिट प्रॉफिट कमाए राइट वी शुड इन स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट में वेर वी हैव टू फोकस वी शुड फोकस ऑन बल्क प्रोडक्शन एंड बल्क सेल वी शुड फोकस ऑन सेलिंग ऑफ मोर वॉल्यूम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड वी विल कीप प्राइस एज अ कॉम्पिटिव कॉम्पिटेटिव प्राइस करके मिनिमम प्राइस करके रख के क्या हो जाएगा मेरा प्रॉफिट बढ़ेगा गेटिंग दिस बिकॉज इफ यू कीप कॉम्पिटेटिव प्राइस इन द मार्केट एटोमेटिकली कस्टमर विल लिंक विथ माई प्रोडक्ट कस्टमर विल परचेस माई प्रोडक्ट गेटिंग दिस सो वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू डिसाइड द प्राइस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट एट दैट टाइम माई प्राइस शुड बी वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव देन माई कॉम्पिटिटर्स मेरे कॉम्पिटिटर से मेरे प्रोडक्ट का प्राइस कम होने चाहिए मेरा ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या होना चाहिए आई शुड सेल थाउजेंड्स ऑफ यूनिट्स लेकिन पर यूनिट प्रॉफिट मिनिमम होना चाहिए पर यूनिट प्रॉफिट कम से कम होना चाहिए अगर मैंने पर यूनिट प्रॉफिट बढ़ाया तो क्या हो जाएगा मेरा कॉम्पिटिटर मेरा पोजिशन टेक ओवर करेगा दैट्स वाई इन स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट में मुझे क्या सीखना है आई विल प्रोड्यूस इन बल्क I will sell in bulk, but I will set price minimum. Getting this? So this is the objective of strategic cost management. मुझे ज़्यादा manufacturing करना है, मुझे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों को sell out करना है, ज़्यादा volume में manufacturing करना है, ज़्यादा volume में sell करना है, लेकिन price ज़्यादा नहीं रखनी है. Price कितनी रखनी है? Competitive. Competitive याने मेरा price और मेरे competitors की price में थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस होना चाहिए गेटिंग दिस आई कांट एक्सप्लॉइट आई कांट एक्सप्लॉइट टू द कस्टमर्स कस्टमर क्या है कस्टमर इज द किंग ऑफ मार्केट वो डिसाइड करेगा कि कौन सा प्रोडक्ट लेना गेटिंग दिस सो इफ यू एक्सप्लॉइट टू द कस्टमर नेक्स्ट टाइम ही विल नॉट अप्रोच टू यू गेटिंग दिस दैट्स व्हाई टू हैव हेल्दी रिलेशंस विद मी एंड माय कस्टमर I have to keep my product price very competitive, and this is the role of strategic cost manager. अब ये मेरी price competitive price रखने के लिए मुझे total cost जो मेरे cost sheet में बनाया है उसके ऊपर ध्यान देना चाहिए. Getting this, I have to find the scope to reduce the price, reduce the cost of my product, whether it may be administrative, factory overheads, or any kind of direct and indirect monetary cost. तो उसके ऊपर मुझे ध्यान देके उसका कॉस्टिंग कम करना चाहिए ओके सो स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट ऑफर्स बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओवरऑल कॉस्ट उसका पूरा कॉस्ट स्ट्रक्चर का आइडिया स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट से होता है एंड इट विल हेल्प अस इट विल हेल्प अस टू गेन द कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज इन द मार्केट बिकॉज नो बडी कैन कंपेयर माई प्राइस विद अदर प्राइस Nobody can compete with my price. I have set price. Set kiya hai na. This is the unique price. Competitor, my price, my price, ko product, uska bechega hi nahi because he will be in loss. Getting this. So you have to find that competitive advantage. And strategic cost management will help to find out this competitive advantage. Strategic cost management. So we are just studying the importance. Why strategic cost management is important nowadays? this strategic cost management help us to formulate to communicate to implement and to control the stages of strategic management process in cost information so cost cost cutting ke liye 
या कॉस्ट डिसाइड करने के लिए स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर्मुलेशन कम्युनिकेशन स्ट्रेटेजी कम्युनिकेशन इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल के जो स्टेजेस होते हैं एस के वो इंप्लीमेंट करने में उसकी मदद होगी it identifies cost relationship between value chain activities and process of management okay so strategic cost management will identify the cost relation relationship between this activity and its a impact strategic cost management creates ability to constantly improve the quality of products <clears throat> so it helps to improve the quality of product as well as it helps to reduce the cost of product. getting this because if we ignore if we ignore the cost of product if we ignore the expectations of my customer then definitely i will lose my customers means i will lose the business it should not happen that's why strategic cost management is important on the next one is to reduce heavy cost failures the organization must implement strategic cost management in the initial stages of the production okay so here we should have a flexibility in various cost policies if there is the scope to reduce we can reduce if there is no scope then we should have to find other alternatives getting this for example if i purchase raw material from one supplier supplier bolta hai 10 rupees se niche mai मेरा प्राइस नहीं आने दूंगा एंड इट इज नॉट एफोर्डेबल टू यू लेकिन दस रुपया एक यूनिट का रॉ मटेरियल का प्राइस रहेगा एंड द सप्लायर वन इज सेइंग दैट आई शुड नॉट गो बिलो टेन रुपीज एंड टू परचेस एट रुपीज टेन इट इज नॉट एफोर्डेबल टू यू यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग एट रुपीज नाइन एंड ही इज सेलिंग एट रुपीज टेन देन वॉट शुड हैपन आई हैव टू फाइंड अनादर अल्टरनेट दैट इज सप्लायर बी i have to scan the market i have to find the various suppliers i have to find their selling policies and i have to make the bid between me and supplier number 2 getting this so this is the strategic cost management i should not reside with one supplier i should not reside with one vendor again i have to change my policies every year and these policies will be best interest of your organization So need of strategic cost management. So why there is need? So it is the updated form of cost analysis. It is different than your traditional cost analysis. Strategic cost management is different. It has more advantage. It has more advantage of traditional cost. Traditional costing, we have done. What did we do? Just we were recording the cost product wise, and we were just uh, allocating this cost to various cost sets. तो इसमें क्या करना है मुझे कुछ पॉलिसीज डिसाइड करनी है मुझे स्ट्रेटेजी डिसाइड करनी है इसके कॉस्ट रिडक्शन पॉलिसीज मुझे डिसाइड करनी है सो इट इज द अपडेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ कॉस्ट एनालिसिस इन विच स्ट्रेटेजिक एलिमेंट्स आर मोर क्लियर क्या करना है पॉलिसी किसके ऊपर ध्यान है देना है किसके ऊपर नहीं ध्यान देना है दैट वी हैव डिसाइडेड इन एडवांस द स्ट्रेटेजिक एलिमेंट्स आर मोर क्लियर and improves the overall position of your company so we will ask to our stakeholders to implement the strategies to implement the strategies and to reduce the cost so if you reduce the cost then what will happen profitability position of your organization will increase then strategic cost management will provide a better understanding of overall cost structure for getting sustainable competitive advantage so we will thoroughly study our cost structure cost policies cost areas where we should find unnecessary activities unwanted activities and which activity we can skip which activity we cannot skip which activities where there is the scope to reduce the cost and accordingly we will reduce this cost and by reducing this cost we will get the competitive advantage of the market getting this we should sell our product at minimum cost which is impossible to my competitor so by selling product at minimum cost i will increase my sale volume because i have kept minimum profit target my target is 
to sell number of units more volume should be sell into the market not to generate more profit per unit your objective is to generate the profit but by selling number of units do char units sell karke mujhe profit nahi kamana mujhe number of lakhs mein unit par le selling karna hai lekin mera per unit profit kam hona chahiye getting this but my total revenue should will remain as is okay now next it uses the cost information specifically to govern the strategic management process that is implementation formulation communication implementation and control of the cost agencies so in case of strategic cost management i will prepare the policies cost policies employee policies vendor policies customer policies supplier policies then i will communicate these policies towards them i will implement i will ask to the i will ask to implement these policies in the organization and i will keep control on these policies so these are the four stages of strategic cost management if we implement these four strategies definitely our organization will go towards the success then it helps in identifying the cost relationship between value chain activities value chain activities means what which are the activities which will add the value in my business those activities which will add value in my business i will continue mm. these activities those activity which will not add value in my business i will skip this activity that is unwanted activities i will skip it okay and by identifying the relationship between value chain activities i will generate the competitive advantage i will create competitive advantage that's why there is need of strategic cost management then this strategic cost management is the provision and analysis of cost and management accounting data cost data and management accounting data we will compare we will identify we will study getting this कोई भी पॉलिसी डिसाइड करना है इसका मतलब कुछ डेटा आपके पास होना चाहिए कॉस्ट डेटा आपके पास होना चाहिए कॉस्ट शीट होना चाहिए करिंग दिस सो बाय स्टडिंग दिस वी विल प्रिपेयर दिस पॉलिसीज दिस स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट फोकसेस ऑन द कॉस्ट रिडक्शन एंड कंटिन्यूअस इंप्रूवमेंट इनटू योर कॉस्ट रिडक्शन पॉलिसीज एवरी टाइम आई शुड थिंक अबाउट द कॉस्ट रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक्स सो ये कंटीन्यूअस एक्टिविटी होना चाहिए now so this was something about strategic cost management what was the earlier system what was the traditional cost accounting what is the traditional costing just read this slide just go through the traditional costing strategic cost techniques aane ke pehle mera traditional costing kaisa tha that is there <coughs> just go through this slide okay now see what are the limitations of there are certain limitations of traditional costing so unnecessary activities we were not studying every time okay so we were continuing or we were carrying unnecessary or unwanted activities so that company's profit was going to pay the cost so ye traditional cost ke limitations the that's why we have implemented the strategic cost management so traditional cost management programs involves the allocation of cost kaun sa cost to kiske under jayega this cost belongs to selling cost this cost belongs to factory cost this cost belongs to administration cost this cost belongs to uh, uh, selling and distribution cost hum log ye sirf karte the whatever cost incurred we were just bifurcating this cost 
but we were not studying why it has come try to understand तो ट्रेडिशनल कॉस्ट सिस्टम में क्या था जो कुछ जो कुछ कॉस्ट आती थी उसको सिर्फ हम लोग बाइफरगेट करते थे वेर जस्ट कैटेगरिंग दिस कॉस्ट अंडर वेरियस स्टेप्स बट वी वेर नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट व्हाई दिस कॉस्ट हैज बीन इनकर्ड ये कॉस्ट क्यों आ गई उसका एनालिसिस हम लोग नहीं करते थे जो कॉस्ट आ गई वो आ गई उसको हम लोग कॉस्ट शीट में एड करते थे सो दिस वॉज द मेजर ड्रॉबैक गेटिंग दिस so traditional cost management programs involves the allocation of cost and overheads to the production which primarily focus on the cost control and cost reductions to ye jitne bhi cost aate ye sare hum log production activity ke upar dalte the try to understand this so jo kuch cost rahenge so we will shift this cost we will bifurcate this cost under production activities so traditional cost system suffer from the number of limitations sara jo kuch kharcha mere company mein aayega sara kharcha hum log production ke upar dal dete the cost control and reduction is the main emphasis of strategic cost management to so, abhi hum log modern system mein kya kar rahe hain we were controlling the cost and we will reduce the cost agar kuch cost aati hai we will have a justification why this cost is coming Why this activity is required? अगर वो activity skip किया तो मेरा क्या loss होता है अगर वो activity involve किया तो मेरा क्या profit होता है By this way, I can analyze each and every activity, each and every expenses which is incurred. जो कुछ cost मेरे पास आएगी उसका मेरे पास justification होना चाहिए Getting this? If we have a clear cut justification, then and then we should add this cost. and we should have a clear cut understanding traditional cost programs has internal emphasis we are more, more focusing on internal activities and does not look towards the external factors such as competition market growth consumer demand we were we were not focusing on external parameters in traditional cost system then traditional cost accounting system rely on on रिले ऑन ओनली ऑन अकाउंटिंग डेटा जो कुछ एक्चुअली हुआ है पास डेटा के ऊपर हम लोग काम करते रहते एंड ट्रेडिशनल कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट फोकस ऑन परचेस ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल स्टॉपिंग ऑफ स्टॉपिंग विथ सेल्स इज ऑब्जेक्टिव मैक्सिमाइजिंग द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन परचेसिंग एंड सेल सो दीज आर दी इंटरनल एक्टिविटीज वेर वी वेर फोकस The strategic cost management क्या करता है? It is continuous planning, monitoring, analysis and assessment. इसमें क्या होता है? Justification हर एक activity का justification होना चाहिए. And whatever cost policies we are prepared by understanding certain parameters we are prepared. So here in strategic cost management techniques we are studying internal position of organization as well as external position of your organization. External parties also also we are studying for it. and strategic cost management process is effectively planning controlling the cost involved in the business usually for the purpose of score keeping problem solving and attention direction so we are focusing internal activities of the organization as well as external activities of the organization in strategic cost management technique which were absent in the traditional technique that's why there is the need of strategic cost management technique nowadays so by using the strategic cost management technique we will increase the profitability of organization we will set the profit objective we will set the we will set the some of the standards we will add only value creating activity in the strategic cost management those activity which will not create the value in the organization which will not create add the value in the product we will skip these activities that's why there is the need of strategic cost management to this lecture we have seen the importance and need of strategic cost management okay uh, students uh, we have finished our time so let us stop here next lecture we will see the difference between traditional cost management techniques and modern cost management techniques okay so let us stop here thank you so much thank you sir thank you sir in case of any doubt regarding the teaching you can ask me in between okay so we will not carry any doubts
and in case of any suggestions regarding to teaching teaching you are welcome to tell Okay. Hmm? Okay. 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 Okay